And now, the video you've all been waiting for. The 3D Revolve tool in Adobe Illustrator. Let's start out. Let's choose the Ellipse tool. From the Ellipse tool, I will pull out an ellipse, but I will hold down the shift key in order to make it a circle, a perfect circle. Next, I will go underneath the eraser and I will choose the scissors tool. From there, I will click on the anchor at the top, click on the anchor at the bottom, and use my direct select arrow, which is the white arrow. I'll pull these apart. Now to use the 3D Revolve tool, let's go ahead up under Effect to 3D and to Revolve. You're going to notice that there is a button that says More Options. Make sure that that is set up so that you can see that your shading color is black. Make sure your left edge is chosen and we are going to click the OK button. Notice we have a circle. It is like a ball and it has shading. However, it is the color of the stroke. As you can see, if I wanted to change the color of that ball, I would simply change the color of the stroke in order to make that happen. So let's watch that one more time. We are going to choose this. This is going to also be revolved. I'll select it. And I'm going to go under Effect to 3D to Revolve. Now I'm going to do something to show you what happens if the correct edge is not chosen. You have to revolve it around the flat edge. If I leave it as left edge, let's watch and see what happens. I'll click OK. And you see I get a cylinder, something that looks a lot different. So I'll go under Edit to Undo. In order to fix it, I'll go back to Effect. 3D and revolve again. And on this time, I will choose the right edge and say OK. Notice now I have a second ball. There is one thing you can't really do with this too well, and that is you cannot turn your paper or transform it or it will not retain the shape. However, in order to change the color, simply change the stroke. Thank you and have a great time. Bye.